we have the Odin built. Okay, so let's therefore start with the Odin build that has Green Sea Scorches developed right now. You're gonna be again on Blue Lagoon, so a decent amount of hunt to begin with. You can see first two villages starting on the wood here, so that he could be having also a reliable ox guard. Great hunt on the giraffes and a few piggies on top of it. So you got two giraffes, two extra piggies, that's the maximum you can get at this point. So that's obviously gonna be even a bigger help. Then in the Zeus build that we have seen with the further Dwarfy, and for the first one, going for the gold, with an ox cart on top of it, you can see then you're gonna be switching back into villages, and it should be apparently further gold here still, so he's gonna be going some further Dwarfies after, I guess. One there, further wood, and what did we discover in the front? Apparently, fairly standardized position of the giraffes extra, Seems to be basically similar position as we have seen in the last map. As kind of wondering how it's gonna be working with the rhinos because they obviously take a bit longer to kill, possibly, and need to be having more villages to work with that if they're gonna be the secondary hand. So I think this is gonna be mostly working on uh, kind of like really animals that do not fight back against you because you need to be moving over with low amount of wells into the secondary spots. As you can see, a bit of uh, wood and how much actually did he there forget? He got, uh, you can say right now, 320 wood. Or is it actually counting the starting one? It's probably counting the starting one, right? Yeah, he's not getting any kind of wood here, so it's counting the starting that you do have on your account. So you just want to be getting up to, therefore, 320. And then you're gonna be switching everybody from the wood into food. Yeah. 89, waiting for the Dwarfy here, exactly, I can say it now from the two, it's gonna be enough. It's a bit confusing with actually where he's gonna be moving with uh, the bay point. It just seems like he's kind of moving that maybe at the last second in there, not at the very start. So let's not pay too much attention to it, I guess. So that's gonna be it now, five gatherers, but for the Dwarfy there, you know, the gatherer is gonna be already coming because obviously as an Odin, he's gonna be having there for right now. That fast to get in. Can say that was a quite nice regeneration for humans and heroes in classical age, heroic age. Yeah, well, that's all that you actually see in the balance patch in here. And right now it's gonna be there for all on food for the advance. Because he's having enough wood for right now the Templar, right? He's gonna be also having enough uh, possible for the Ox guy. He's gonna be still having together for that. Because it's a build that's gonna be including three. You can see there's the house right now on the left flank in the meantime. Yeah. Seven villages. He's probably gonna be getting away with moving or well, with being only on that one hunt, I guess, this time because he's having so many animals there. As the temple already coming up, obviously being a bit cheaper as far as the wood goes, so it's gonna be having 50 for the ox guard exactly. Yeah, I was still living in the Zeus world, <laughs> so he's gonna be having exactly what he needed. So that's what you're aiming for, so that you can spend on. You can be having there for three ox cards, so therefore build two. Then you need house, and then you need the temple, and that's gonna be exactly what are gonna be the needs for the food at the start. So therefore 80, then two ox cards. It's gonna be Hundo. So 180 and house is gonna be at 40, so 220 wood. So that's the 320 that we have seen with the 100, of course, being uh, the start in there. Where is that? Wait a second, how is he actually working with the 200 in there? Because he didn't spend on anything else, right? I don't know. So right now he's gonna be there for switching. One, the last ox card and five, and he's already gonna be advancing with Freya again. It's absolutely zero idle time for villages you extra. I mean, like he spent 80. Oh, he was getting, of course, hunting dogs, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the last hundred. I was kind of thinking, where the hell is the last hundred? That was the hunting dogs. So it is correct, 320. And already you can see Hersir is coming forward with auto queue. So you have resources for absolutely everything. Right now, just will be interested in. Oh, that's a tough giraffe in there. How he's gonna be actually switching over into the different hunt? 
Yo. You can see it on six villages there for on wood with the ox guard. That's what I wanted to, to want to see. It's gonna be of course as a Norse able to switch there quite a bit easily. So luckily that is not too much of a problem. But immediate housing, sure. But it should be there for the next hunt, right? I mean like it's gonna be advancing as you can see below four minutes. So it's gonna be rather excellent timing and therefore nobody should be abusing him in a kind of way. 357 advance. Immediate longhouse also is gonna be coming up. And also on the other side, he's just gonna like already abusing the opponent here on potential towers because obviously he's gonna be advancing quite a bit later. In general, second log house also immediately with the new health syrup. And everything actually working quite a bit flawlessly. Without any kind of problem, you can see it's gonna be there for clicking in some dwarfies. Not gonna be utilizing the villages anymore. Even a house, so that is not gonna be having that much of a problem with that because the next health is coming in just a moment. Hmm, you can see actually it's slightly messed it up. Just needed to be right now getting the house a bit sooner so that you can be avoiding that. And it's right now the only difference. And he apparently is gonna be giving up on the last giraffe. It's a bit of a shame. You don't yeah. have to be doing that still. But maybe he even wanted to be moving upwards already. <laughs> and it's kind of a bit of a theme here. Even in the previous build, he was also missing that one giraffe, right? Or leaving that one giraffe. Uh, the house, you can say it now that's gonna be throwing Axman and Ulfsark. Basically, just at this point, you're just gonna build whatever the hell you want. Hmm, could have been potentially a bit more efficient. Switching into the second long house, but doesn't entirely matter too much. No, so interesting variant of the build. Just wanted to be maybe seen if I didn't miss at the start of the classical age in there, the first village where it went. Yeah, it now gathering can be just kind of confirming, of course, the amount of wood. 170 exactly. So already building the ox cart or taking the ox cart, of course, in there and getting the hunting dogs. There's the temple at about 2 minutes 10. And it was, he was, by the way, also still on top of it, having millions of pigs, right? So if something goes wrong on the hunt in front, for example, then he can still fall back on a quite by quite a bit high amount of food anyway. So there we go, gonna be ready. First is gonna be dwarfy again going onto the gold. Yeah, so it's not gonna be anything too complicated, it's just dwarfies right after advance to be saving the food for more of the hersers. And could have been right now getting actually the house first, maybe. No, definitely. So that he wouldn't be house here on the next hersir. Just like a bit of an improvement on that, but very little thing here. It's right now already moving forward with further dwarfies, just kind of like moving into the gold only, it looks like at this point. Yeah, there was a bit of a brief pause in there on that village on foot. And he's moving. Okay, into more food. He's right now realizing he needs a bit more, but well, it needs a bit more in there. But seems to be switching it according to the need, according to what kind of resources you have. Not looking too bad. So good build. Good inspiration for your Odin. Potentially if you want to be advancing damn quick, even below four minutes. You want to be maybe surprising somebody, your friend or well, somebody in the tournament even. Uh, some kind of caveats that maybe he has mentioned in the in the topic. What does he have right now posted in there? No, no TC idle time. Three ox cards when advancing, as opposed to the most fast advance where it's only two ox cards, which hinders wood echo and making it hard to continue aggression. You can auto queue horses or the hersers rather immediately as we have seen, and two long houses immediately after advance as well. So basically has all the important parts and then you can toy with it as you wish. And right about now, just apparently he has also added some extra info after that, that maybe it's gonna be better to go only one long house after advance and build the second around five minutes uh, so you don't have enough resources to continue production in both. We have kind of seen that slightly uh, at the very end that he was having only actually clicked in one of them and also slight complications with the TC as well on the villages. So it might be definitely the better option to maybe head into that direct, uh, direction. Just kind of like only the house and for a bit longer live with only one and only just a moment actually wait for it. It's in the end 
<laughs> I mean, that is certain if it's gonna be making that much of a difference because it seems like the classic actually situation where if you don't get food upgrade, if you don't get hunt upgrade, you're gonna be having the hunt for longer. <laughs> so it's kind of like a not a great logic, right? Because you're still gonna be spending the resources kind of in the same way and the same amount of them. Just you are not gonna be having the idle time too much. But in reality, it's kind of the same if you're gonna be able to control it and not kind of like letting it fluster you in some way. What it could be meaning and what it what should be probably what should have been said and should have been adjusted is the fact that you at that point therefore need less villages on wood. You're gonna be therefore having potential to have one more village on food, for example, or maybe on gold. If you don't need the longhouse actually that early. So that is probably where his thoughts were more aiming, in my opinion, than the previous actually version. So yeah, maybe just like a further adjustment here adjustment here can be, sorry. Really just like move some woodies elsewhere a bit more. That you don't need the six or how many actually there were before. Okay then, so that's gonna be another variant of the builds. This time it was for Odin, inspiration for the Norse. Again, gonna be highly reliant on the high amount of food that you get. So with others it will be quite a bit more complicated. Again, some nice gold. I mean like in the last build he was ending at 600 gold, this time it's a thousand. <laughs> what a damn coincidence. 18 villages, you can say it about now already. Nine military. 356 advance in the end. Not really bad, exactly a minute faster than Mr. Heliopolis. That's the AI. Four heresies already built, some extra throwing axemen and roof sacks. No, interesting inspiration. GG. And thanks Mr. Squash again for inspiring the community for maybe playing differently than just the... Maybe a bit stale. Maybe just gonna everybody used to it, the common meta. Maybe you've seen some switches and moves around, who knows. Wanted to be saying something different than stale meta necessarily, but I couldn't figure out anything else. But it's kind of like standing meta maybe, let's say. Uh, so you really do see fairly standardized types of gameplays by this time. And, and experimentation, kind of just if somebody wants, it to, wants to be going for a cheese, but mostly people are playing the same things but yep yeah, gg